Welcome to State of the Map at Florence. Before we start, I have to make some um, announcement due to COVID. We um, have a very good situation at Italy currently, and you don't need to fear anything. Normally, it's no duty to wear a mask, but as we are from all over the world, we decided to have a little bit more strict regulations. And I want to ask you, I highly recommend you to wear the mask when you are sitting in the auditoriums or close together. We have air filters, so they are they are made after the after the pandemic, so they are really new and I hope it's all good, but we wear the mask in inside here. And outside in the foyer, during the meals, you don't need to wear them. And you you can wear, we, we recommend, but you don't have to. Um, now, I want to... Um, I want to welcome uh, Garcia Tucci. She is from the University of Florence and she is our host. And we are really thankful to be at her university. And she is head of a research group of geomatics. Welcome, Garcia. Good morning. I feel extremely glad to officially welcome everyone on behalf of the University of Florence to this much awaited conference, State of the Map, as it marks one of the most important events since when the pandemic didn't allow us to meet each other in person. I believe, and I make no mistake in saying that this articulated organization of conferences is the first opportunity to see so many people together. The attendee numbers uh, I've seen are significant and uh, more are following us online. So I would uh, also welcome the audience uh, joining us online from around the world. There are many good reasons uh, to organize uh, such an important event in Florence uh, and I hope you will discover them over the next few days. As a spokesperson for the university, I can add that Florence uh, has a particular link with official Italian cartography because it is the headquarters of the Military Geographical Institute, the official producer of national cartography for many decades. I recommend you to see the IGM Museum if you have the opportunity. We also are used to think to Florence as the cradle of cartography, also because until a few years ago, the companies in charge of the cartographic production were concentrated on this territory. More recently, a lot of things changed, and from a top-down approach, we have moved on here in a completely reversed situation, a collaborative project to create a free, editable, digital, open, dynamic geographic database but which without a doubt has its roots in that world. The University of Florence was founded in 1321 and it's one of the oldest in Italy. It cooperates with the international research institutions and welcomes students and teachers all over the world, promoting research, study programs and conferences. It's organized in 12 schools, and it is honored to host this important moment of comparison and the sharing of the state of the art on such an essential topic. This conference features a rich program. Before we kickstart the conference, I would like to express our gratitude and our thank to all members of the organization committees, the International Scientific Committee, the collaboration partners, the volunteers, and a special thanks to the chair of the conference for their tremendous efforts to organize this conference successfully. I hope that these three days will inspire ideas and discussions around how we can map 
our planet in a better way. Thank you. Our next speaker is from Wikimedia Italia, the OpenStreetMap section, and she uh, makes a welcome speech for us. And thank you, Anissa. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome. So uh, this welcoming speech was supposed to be done by our president. Unfortunately, she didn't make it in time for the opening speech, so I'm going to actually read her speech. <laughs> so yeah, excuse me if I'm going to keep the, my look down all the time. So, on behalf of Wikimedia Italia, I'm delighted to welcome you at State of the Map here in Florence. Wikimedia Italia has been the local chapter of the OpenStreetMap Foundation since 2016. OpenStreetMap and the Wikimedia Project are part of the same ecosystem of free knowledge and open data. But having the projects connected in one organization is exceptional and we are very proud of it and grateful for it. We consider it an important opportunity to reinforce interoperability and exchanges among all open collaborative projects. For example, it can be fruitful to consider further the interoperability among OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Please allow me to thank all individuals and institutions who made the collaboration between Wikimedia Italia and OpenStreetMap possible, who contribute to OpenStreetMap in Italy and the world, and who have supported the organization of State of, state of the Map. Cooperation is always a challenge, and online collaborative, collaborative projects know it very well. Co collaboration is difficult, it requires efforts, and it needs to be kept in exercise like a muscle. But collaboration is also the only way we can build something exceptional, which goes beyond ourselves. Gatherings are a precious occasion to learn, discuss, exchange, and meet each other. And for online collaborative communities, are very important to reinforce and facilitate these collaborations. From Wikimedia Italia, our best wishes for a collaborative, productive, and joyful event. Thank you very much. I have a third welcome speech for you. It's uh, Guillaume Richard, who represents the OSMF board, who is chair from the OSMF board, and he will welcome you. Thank you, Christina. Um, I want to, first of all, congratulate you all for being here. Uh, it's the first state of the map physical since 2019. And uh, it, it's it's fantastic to already see a couple of familiar faces, faces I'm seeing from online physically for the first time, and people who are here for the first time who haven't met yet. Uh, I just wanted to have a who's here for the who's at a state of the map for the first time. Can we have a show of hands? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Um, I want to first of all thank all the volunteers uh, who make this possible. Uh, I also want to thank uh, the State of the Map Working Group in particular and uh, the local team. Uh, I want to have a round of applause for them. Thank you very much. And I want to um, thank in particular our gold sponsors. We have uh, nextbillion.ai, we have Esri, uh, we have TomTom, we have Grab Maps, and we also have Microsoft, who are unfortunately not on the banner. Uh, thank you very much to all of them. Uh, Florence is a fantastic place to have a state of the map. Uh, I'm not sure if you've already had the time to go around, but it's uh, it's a fantastic place to map, to explore the little streets. Um, and it's also a place where Galileo is active, so that's exciting. And um, there's also at the Uffizi, um, the, the museum, 
uh, a fantastic map room. If you have the time, go explore, go look at the map room. It's like 16th century maps of the region. It's fantastic. Um, the part of the conference I, I'm most most looking forward to is you see the schedule, you see all the all the things that's going to happen in the in the rooms. But outside of the rooms, the the hallway track is is the best part of the conference. So go around, especially if you're here for the first time, go out, chat with people. We're all here for that reason. And um, yes, um, I hope you have a fantastic state of the map. And thank you very all for being here. The next, what I have for you is Sarah Hoffmann. She chairs together with Manfred uh, Stock, the program committee, and she will tell you about all the content we have during the conference and some more practical information. Okay, so well, for me also very welcome. I'm glad we are back in person, but of course, we also have a lot of online speakers. Um, this is our first hybrid conference, so please bear with us. We are trying it out and we'll see how it works. A uh, little bit about the program. So there's two general tracks uh, in the auditoriums A and B. A is here, you have already found it. B, right on top, so a little bit of exercise for each of you. And for those who are online, you find this on the stages and you can switch there. We also have an academic track again. This is on Sunday in the Auditorium B, upstairs. Um, please be aware, this already starts at 9 o'clock, so our academics are very early risers. You have to be half an hour early. Also, today, after lunch, there is the humanitarian group, which will have an unsummit. This is going to be in room 102. This is uh, in-person only, I think. Furthermore, we have workshops. Uh, these we have split. So there are seven workshops which are in person. You'll find them here in room 103. That's uh, first floor. Um, there are three online workshops. Um, there is, uh, I think, a BBV room for them. Uh, you can just join both of them. Go there, see what's going on. Um, maybe uh, have a look at the workshop descriptions if people uh, wanted to, to install something on your computer or something. Then we have lightning talks. Again, we have split them. So we have asked you to pre-submit some lightning talks. Uh, we got some submissions. For those of you online, there is a special room for this, a special day, stage where you can watch them uh, anytime. Uh, here in person, we have the workshop room. Um, there is the loop cinema session, one per day, and you can just go in and have a look at the pre-recorded lightning talks. Um, we also have uh, in-person lightning talks. There is a board right outside the foyer uh, where you can subscribe yourself. So there's four sessions in total, I think, um, where you can still put something in. Uh, the first one will actually be um, after lunch, I think, so you might have to be fast. Um, please, uh, for those who want to do this, you can't use your own computer. Please, uh, if you have slides, hand them in before the beginning of the session. Uh, so we can put them on the computers here. Then we also have room for self-organized sessions. Um, so online you find breakout rooms, um, one, uh, one, two, and three. Uh, there is uh, go to the wiki and uh, write in there if you want to do something. Um, in person, again, there's a whiteboard. Uh, outside in the foyer where you can put in your sessions. Uh, so there's two rooms there. We'll start with room 101. And if there's too much interest, there's also room 202, which is actually on the second floor, so a little bit further to walk. Important part, Wi-Fi. Uh, you should have received an email which gives you a username and a password, which you have to use. Uh, we forgot to tell you where to connect actually to. Uh, so that's only free Wi-Fi where you have to connect to. If you have a hand and egg problem now, because you need to access your email in order to get your Wi-Fi, um, please go to the info desk and ask them for help. They will sort this out. Also, because we're a hybrid person, uh, conference, um, each of you, also those who are here in the room, will have access to Venueless, our online platform. That means you can also chat with people who are only here, uh, who are not here in person. Um, you also have a schedule there. 
Um, when you less, uh, you had a link to your ticket in pre-talks and you have to go to this link and there you now find the join the conference uh, button. Click there and it will lead you to on uh, venue less and you can join there and uh, you are there. What we want to try uh, this year is that also people who are here in person ask their questions via venue less. We will collect them from the people who are um, joining us online, but we'd also like to you, when you have questions during the talk, just type them in there. So what you do is um, you go into the uh, auditorium. Normally what you see, you should have a very small screen there with the video, so you shouldn't see a video. If you see a large video and nothing else, just try to reload the page. This should work and then it's small. Um, you have two things. There's the chat, where you can also chat with people who are online uh, or amongst you, and there's the question part. And just type in your questions and the moderator will collect them and then uh, talk with the speaker. Um, we also have microphones, so if you're uncomfortable or don't have a uh, cell phone or whatever, uh, so there will be also a possibility uh, to, ask, to ask them here, but we want to see if it works out uh, just doing this uh, everybody uh, online. Um, one more thing for people who are here, so if this reloading still doesn't work and you still have this huge video, please uh, in menu list go to your settings, that's down here, and then see if this auto play streams when entering stages is on. If it's on, that's wrong. Switch it off, press save, reload the page, and then hopefully you don't see the video anymore. So we'll see how this works out, software. Uh, you can also follow us on Telegram, so if you want, there's the link to the invitation, just uh, photograph it. Uh, you can comment, um, we will have uh, news for you there if something's happening, so that's uh, something also to connect with people. Other stuff, um, there will be a group photo, so we are doing two, the first one for you who are here, is after lunch today. So we'll see, uh, come to the foyer and then we'll lead you wherever the photos are. For those who are online, we are, want to collect your photos. Uh, look at the info desk page. Uh, it tells you where to go, where to upload it, so we can have a photo of you too. Posters. There are posters in the foyer where you have the coffee down there. And what we're going to do is tomorrow after lunch, we join everybody and have a common poster watch session and there are also the people who did the posters who are there will be there and maybe can explain to you something you can ask questions then of course the important part is social event that will be on saturday evening uh, starting at eight at the mercato centrale so that's uh, quite close to the train station where probably many of you have been already at some point or the other so just not close to the train station, walk over there, you find it. You got a voucher, a little thing. Bring this. This is the uh, 40 euro you can spend for your uh, food, drink, whatever you want to do. You have to spend it until midnight, I was told. So, and please spend it. We have already paid for it, so just, uh, uh, yeah, whatever you can. And if you can't spend it all, you even can take the food home, I'm told. So next day and Sunday, you still have to eat. That's uh, a good occasion. Right. Final thing, if you need help. So there are two info desks for you who are online. You have this, uh, this page, info desk in Venueless. Click there, there will people be there. And for everybody who's here in person, the info desk you already saw down in the foyer, any questions, uh, go there or ask the people with the, I think the black t-shirts, right? So yeah, the people over there, anybody who has a t-shirt like this, go ask uh, whatever. Um, we also have a code of conduct team. We of course want everybody to feel welcome here and uh, comfortable. If you have uh, any problems, uh, please contact the people. So that's Christina, which you already saw. Uh, Anissa, can you? That's her. And Marco. Is Marco here? Marco. 
Uh, Marco Fancioli, I'm looking for. Ah, he's not here. So he also, these are the three people. Please contact them and we will see uh, what we can do. All right, so that's with the boring organizational stuff. And now we are having our keynote speech.